Hello, my gorgeous friends. Hey guys, so I am back. I have been gone for two weeks now and it's all because my body has went to shit. About a month ago, I got strep throat and that, that hurt like and your girl got antibiotics for that and uh, the strep throat seemed to go away. Then a week later, it came back. Then I got this horrible, horrible cough and that turned into me losing my voice. And not just for a day or two or five. I lost my voice for literally two and a half weeks and it just came back the day before yesterday, so I still sound like your local drag queen. I still sound like that girl your ex calls after midnight. <laughs> I sound atrocious, I'm so sorry for that. And I wanted to do my hits and a God knows for you, but talking is making me really tired because I haven't done it in two and a half, the ultimate level of being fat. <laughs> so it feels so incredibly good to be back with you, but today I'm gonna put a new makeup technique to the test. Today we're gonna find out if doing your eyeliner using a floss pick works. Now I don't know exactly who started this trend, so if you do know this, please let me know in the comment section down below so I can put this person in my description box. I've seen this going around a lot. I've also seen the bobby pin. Um, these are all very Instagram ways of doing your liner because you gotta get those views somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah. All right, so we'll be putting this technique to the test. What do you think? Will it work? Won't it work? We'll find out in a little bit. I'm now gonna take this makeup off and die. <laughs> oh, hello there, you caught me mid glam. So my foundation is done, my eyebrows are done, and my eyeshadow is done. And now comes the moment of truth for these floss picks. I'm actually really hopeful. I actually have a very great state of mind about these. I feel like these might be amazing to help beginners for the people that are in a rush and just need that guidance and go. I am really, really hopeful here. So if this fails me, I, I, I will cry. I will go into fetal position and cry. So here we have my floss pick and I particularly like this one because it has the end that really mimics a wing liner. All right, so are we ready for this? Okay, I'm gonna grab my MAC Liquid Last Aligner. This is my favorite liquid liner because it stays on through everything. You could be a teenage Little Mermaid going through her emo phase and this liner will stay on in the ocean. <laughs> All right, so when you look at the pick, you want the straight line to go here. This is gonna be your wing. Wherever the curve is, is what you wanna have on top. So by no means do we wanna stamp it like that. That's just not gonna end well. Let's, let's just not do it, let's just forget about it. You wanna turn that around and get that straight line coming from the eye. So basically, all I'm gonna do is coat the tip of the pick using my liquid liner and then stamp it on. Okay, we're coating it. We have begun this test. Please don't let us down. Oh my mother, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh my God, that's horrible. Okay, let me do that again. Okay, we, 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 we got something. All right, now would be the time to connect your wing to your lash line and make it a, a complete wing. Now, mind you, I haven't worn makeup in two weeks, so pray for me. And because I like my wing to cut all makeup haters in half, I like to create a very thin flick at the end. Right now, it's like, mm, it's like, Right now it's poking the haters. We need to cut them. Yes. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I really like like the angle of the wing. I like where it's going. I like, I really like this wing. I'm not mad at this wing. This wing is doing it for me. Like it goes well with the chef. I feel good about this wing. So normally when I do these tests and I and I fuck up, usually what I do is give up and do the other eye off camera and give up on the test completely and regret my life. But since today's test is actually 
quite successful so far. Let's do the other eye. All right, we got our pick. Let's coat it and stamp. Oh my God, that's atrocious. Hope you're not messing this up. It's been a good day. You're back on the tube. It's been a good day, don't mess this up. Okay, that's horrible. Oh my God, no. All right, so I feel like I managed to pull through, kind of save the day on this one here, so we can live, we can we can go on with our lives, and you know, no crying today, maybe. Um, so yeah, let me apply some lashes. Let's do our cheeks and lips together. I'll be right back. All right, so first thing I'll be doing for my cheeks is bronze me up using Hula Light by Benefit. You know, sort of as a contour, not really, but kind of. For blush today, I'm gonna use one of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trios. This one is in the color Pink Passion, and I'm just gonna be mixing these two together. And for a highlight today, I'm gonna use something new. I've pretty much used Everglow, my collaboration with Oprah Cosmetics, ever since it came out and like it's really hard for me to part ways with it. But for today's video, I'm gonna try something new. This is by Violet Voss. This is the Pro Highlighter Rose Gold Palette. I mean, hello there. This is, that's me, this is me. This is so good. This is so pretty. This makes my heart warm. So I'm gonna be highlighting my cheekbones using this color right here and maybe dust in a couple of others so kind of like play with it but for now we're gonna use bloom oh that is pretty I will say it it almost like the powders are so buttery it almost feels like there's oils in the powders sounds so weird cuz like powder and oil don't really work together but these feel so buttery that they almost feel oily. And sometimes that can enhance the texture of your skin a little bit more, or like it will cling onto one part of the face and not really blend out nicely. So I just use a more careful and like delicate hand when I play with highlighters like that, but come on. Oh, she is lit on the cheek, isn't she? And at the moment, nothing is more popular than strobing the forehead. I see it everywhere. Nice, healthy looking foreheads that aren't too powdered and have a lot of glow and reflection and like strobing. So my favorite product for this is Dandelion Twinkle by Benefit. This has that shimmer capacity, but it isn't overpowering, but it still gives you that strobing look. I wouldn't call this a blinding highlighter because it needs a little bit of help for that. It gives you that healthy radiance, but it's not too much. No, so slightly in the center. And I also do a little bit on the chin. And for my lips today, I'm finally diving into the Kylie X Kim Kardashian um, collaboration. This is the KKW Cream Liquid Lipstick in the color Kimmy. All we need now is to lock this all into place. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray. I think my lashes are wet. And that guys concludes this video, finding out if a floss pick can help you create the best wing of your life. Conclusion. I don't know. Honestly, the first eye I tried, I thought it was great. It's a great guide. But on the other hand, the second eye sucked and I really had to fix it using my skills. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this was a fail. It's a no from me. It is reaching a level of extraness that maybe we should steer clear of. But it's fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun doing this, so 
We got that for us. So that wraps up this video for a full list of every single product mentioned and used. Go to my description box below. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you so much for watching again. I'm so sorry for my voice. I hope you can get past it. I hope you thought this video was fun. And let me know what makeup trend or technique I should test out next. I love you. Bye.